in these simultaneous equations, we've got two things we've got to work out, and we've got two equations. So A and B are the same number in both of these equations. And we've got to work out what A is and what B is. We're going to solve these equations by eliminating either A or B. So if we look at this example, we can see the B's here are the same. There's 4B in both of the equations. That means we can eliminate the B's. We can get rid of the B's. We're going to do that by taking away one equation from the other one. So if I took 4B away from 4B, if I take away here, it's going to disappear. 4B take away 4B is 0. So 3A take away 2A, that's 1A. 4B take away 4B is nothing. And 22 take away 20, that's 2. So A is equal to 2. So we know A is 2. We can use that to find B. So if I substitute this in to either of these two equations, I'll find B. So I'm going to choose the second one. I'm going to substitute the 2 in. So 2A, which I know is 2. So 2 2s plus 4B equals 20. 2 2s are 4. So 4 plus 4B is 20. Take 4 away from both sides. So 4B is equal to 16, and divide both sides by 4. So B equals 4. So here I've solved the simultaneous equations. A is 2, and B is 4. I can always check an answer by substituting them back in. So if I look at the top equation now, 3A, 3 times A, so 3 times 2, 6 plus 4 times b, 4, so 6 plus 4 fours, 16 equals 22. It does, so we know we've done it right. Okay, here's an example where we've got uh, two things are the same still, we can still eliminate them. The 4 b's are in both, so we can eliminate the 4 b's, we can eliminate the b's. But this one's a positive 4 b. This one's a negative 4b. So, in order to eliminate it, I'm going to have to add the two equations. 4b plus minus 4b is 0. If I try to take away these two equations, I'll get 4b minus minus 4b, which will give me 8b. So, this time I'm going to plus the two equations together. And that will eliminate the 4B. 3A plus 2A is 5A. Minus, no, I mean plus 4B minus 4B is 0. And 23 plus 2 is 25. 5A is 25. If I divide both sides by 5, A is 5. And again, I'm going to find B by substituting it in. So this time I'm going to use the top one. 3 times A, which is 5, plus 4B equals 23. That's 15 plus 4B equals 23. Take 15 away from both sides here. So 4B is equal to 8. And divide both sides by 4. So B is 2. Okay, this time we've got the A's are the same. So I've got 2A and 2A in both the equations. So I'm going to eliminate the A's this time. And this is a positive 2A and a positive 2A. So I'm going to eliminate them by taking them away. 2A take away 2A is nothing. So A's are gone. 3b minus minus 2b. Minus minus means plus. So 3b plus 2b is 5b. And 20 take away 10, that's 10. So b is equal to 2. And then if I substitute that back in to the top one, 2a plus 3 2s equals 20. 
So 2a plus 6 equals 20. Take 6 away from both sides. 2a equals 14. Half both sides. a is 7. Okay, this time nothing is the same. So we don't have the A's the same or the B's the same. So when we get questions like this, we have to make them the same. So we can either make the A's the same or make the B's the same. Let's look at these A's. If I want to make them the same, I'm going to have to times this equation by 2 and this equation by 3. If I times this by 2, if I double the whole equation, this would be 6a. If I triple and times this one by 3, the whole equation, this will be 6a. So that will give me that a is the same. So let's double this equation. So that's 6a plus 10b equals 56. And times this one by 3, 6a minus 9b equals 18. So now I've got the a's the same. To eliminate them, I'm going to have to take them away. 6a minus 6a is nothing. So we'll take away the two equations. So 6a minus 6a is nothing. 10b minus minus 9b. Minus minus makes a plus, so that's 19b. And 56 take away 18. That's 38. Now, um, divide by 19 both sides. So B is equal to 2. Substituting this back into the top. We don't use these ones because they just make it harder. So substitute back into the top. 3A plus 5 2s equals 28. 3a plus 10 equals 28, minus 10 from both sides. 3a is 18, a is 6. Okay, same again. So we have to make them the same before we can uh, before we can solve them. So before we can eliminate something. So I can even make the a's the same, and that'll be by times in the top one by two and the bottom one by five. Or the B's the same by times the top one by three and the bottom one by two. It doesn't matter which one we do. Um, let's keep let's make the A's the same. So we're going to times this one, the top one by two, and the bottom one by five. So that give me ten A minus four B equals thirty eight, and ten A minus 15b equals 60. Now we're going to take them away. So 10a minus 10a is nothing. Good. It's gone. It's been eliminated. Minus 4b minus minus 15b. So minus 4 plus 15. That's 11. 38 minus 60. That's minus 22. So we divide by 11, so b is equal to minus 2. Then we're going to substitute it back in to one of the top ones. So 5a minus 2 minus 2s equals 19. Minus 2 minus 2s is a plus 4. Negative times a negative is a positive minus 4 from both sides, so 5a equals 15, divide both sides by 5, a is equal to 3. Okay, here's two questions for you to try, so pause the video, give them a go. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you make the a's the same or the b's the same, you could do it either way. So I'm going to make the B's the same this time. So all I've got to do to make the B's the same is multiply the top one by 3. Then that can be 3B here 
the three B here. So if I just times this by three, that gives me twelve A minus three B equals fifty four. So I've got minus three B and minus three B. To get rid of them, I'm gonna take away take away the two equations because minus three minus minus that means plus three equals zero. So five a take away twelve a. That's minus seven a. Minus three b minus minus three b is nothing. And nineteen minus fifty four. It's going to be a minus, and it's 35. So divide both sides by minus 7. So A is 5. Then we substitute it back in. So let's go into the top one. 4 fives minus B is 18. 20 minus B is 18. 20 minus 2 is 18, so b equals 2. Here for this one, I'm going to times the top one by 2, and that will give me 6a, 6a. If u times by 6 and 3, that's fine. Um, but you're just going to end up with harder numbers. So the quickest way to make them the same is to double this equation. So 6a plus 4b equals 2. Now you can see the a's are the same and the b's are the same. So if I take away the two equations, I'm going to eliminate a. And if I add the two equations, I'm going to eliminate b. So it doesn't matter which of those we choose. So let's, I'm going to add them. So 6a plus 6a is 12a minus 4b plus 4b is nothing and 34 plus 2 is 36. Divide both sides by 12, a is 3. Substitute this back in, so 3 threes plus 2b equals 1, so 9 plus 2b equals 1, minus 9 from both sides, 2b equals minus 8, half both sides, b equals minus 4. So a is 3, b is minus 4.